Welcome, Survivor! It's gonna be another uh, slightly different kind of base build where we are gonna be looking at, I guess, uh, totally safe bases. And as you can see, I'm out here in the water. It's a little bit funny that I actually don't swim or anything. I wish they would add that, but I'm out here in Naviscane, and this uh, I'm gonna show this on a random world as well, where obviously we're in the big lake. Is that. Okay, uh, we're in a big lake and we're swimming out here to this nice little POI in the middle of the lake. And um, this is related to the the testing that I did yesterday relating to the distance the zombies spawn for, well, wandering hordes and for blood moon hordes, etc. Because that's key to building this base. So the first thing to do is to make sure we have actually cleared this POI. And... Actually, it looks like it's cleared. I think I cleared it at some point before when I was doing uh, some video, some testing, and it's still cleared. Really nice. I guess I haven't been around this area for a while. And what's interesting about this PI is that, well, except that it's uh, one of the few ones that is entirely in the water, is that it's actually pretty much zombie safe. Once you have taken this over, and let's say you uh, put down a uh, land, not land, land claim block actually would do it. We put this down here, bam! Because land claim blocks uh, prevent respawns, it means that there's never going to be any zombies that are respawning from the PI. And because of the distance to the shore, there's one there, there's one further there, and even further over there, it means that zombies will never, ever be spawning here for Blood Moon Halls. Because we're down at, uh, let's say, 623-1398, and if I go out here, uh, it's going to be more than those uh, 32 blocks and to be really sure if I would stand out here it'll be even further we're at 631 and the closest point would be about here which is more than those uh, 45 to 50 blocks that it would take for zombies to spawn. And that's why this one is really, really interesting. And uh, it's as I covered yesterday, zombies seem to spawn really, really close. And you don't have to take my word for it. So we're out here. We might get some vultures, but again, assuming you have a... Nope, actually, not even any vultures. You see, there is nothing being spawned, right? I have a game stage of 525, but nothing is being spawned, including vultures, because they need to be closer. Let's see if I go over here. Now I'm still good. Here, what if I go to the very edge? Now I'm still safe. So it's a, one of those really weird ways of how they've actually implemented it. If uh, there is no spawn point within a short period, you see there are zombies spawning. This is uh, one of the other zombies, one of the just the biomes zombies. You barely can see him over there. I don't think I can actually kill him. Oh, I hit him actually though. So he is, will be running over here. Uh, but beyond that, uh, there's not going to be any Blood Moon Horde. We've in the game or rather the blood moon horde and uh, there's a little bit of a weird way of things going um in this case because he is coming over here he would potentially be uh, breaking supports which is not what we wanted to but you know it is because i aggroed him and uh, well that's it we beat in the game we don't need to do anything else now so this is on navis game but a lot of us don't play on navis game so i wanted to show this on a random map as well because we don't have any big lakes so how do we do it there and i'm out and about here in a random world which just happened to be an identical map as on my uh, multiplayer server that by the way if you're interested in a relaxing multiplayer server do hit up my discord and uh, check out the instructions for how to join but anyway so we need to find a body of water and obviously this is not it uh, this is is it even deep enough to no it's basically not deep enough for anything but one thing that i actually was highlighting uh, actually back in the experimental of alpha 18 was that the maps were having a lot of water around and I was telling people that, hey, if you don't like the Blood Moon Horde, if you don't like all the zombie spawns, actually, you can resolve that very easily. And that goes back to earlier alphas like 16 and 17, where I was testing some of these things out as well, just to see how does zombie spawning behave in near and in water. So what I was telling people is, hey, all you need to do is make your way out to the coast. And we're going to be out here to the coast. Oh, and we're going to be under the coast here, which is not necessarily what we wanted. 
let's see we find a good place out here um you might want to make sure that it's somewhere that uh actually this one potentially would be unless it's let's have a look here uh okay you want to make sure that it's not in a place where <laughs> where there is uh, the actual radiation zone because if i go further out that way i probably would find it this is a little bit too big for my base building but you could do this one it just means you probably have to take out these small islets island it's whatever so let's do something like this instead uh, let's go down here and let's say fine i want to have a safe space here and what you would normally just do is look at where you are on the map and I'm at 137, 38, 383. And let's see if I go somewhere that is, so let's say 100 away something, it was probably gonna be pretty good. Let's see there. And if I am here, and let me fly up, which of course you wouldn't necessarily do if you were playing in uh, just in survival. You Well, you could if you had a <laughs> gyrocopter, I guess. Let's say you say, hey, this is a perfect place for a base because it's far away from here. It's barely within render distance. This one is not, this one is not, and it's good. And the first thing you want to do is you want to get down to the bottom here. And that can be a bit of a challenge. Sometimes we do have the oxygen counter, which in some of the previous versions actually was totally bugged out and actually would not necessarily count down. And let's see if we can get down here before we are going to drown. I think we're almost getting there. Yes. And then you just build it up. And hopefully I can get up here. Oh, I can't quite get up. Okay, so you build it up slowly, slowly, step by step. And uh, make sure you have your bedroll nearby in case you happen to die. And once you have the initial platform, everything gets a lot easier because it means that you can actually build up something that is a bit more appropriate for what you're looking for. So I have one pillar and uh, that will actually give me a pretty good uh, way to expand it of course you would want to have more pillars you can depending on the distance uh, that you're at and of course if i wasn't going to going to cheat you, you can actually just uh, put in some some ladders here so that when you fall off like i always do you actually can uh, get up as well just like that so I've built up a little bit of a platform here, as you can see, and yeah, I'm cold, but that doesn't really matter. This is uh, just a little bit temporary. So um, we are going to run a couple of tests here just to verify. And of course, this, you can't really do this uh, when you're playing survival, but just to show you. So we're going to do spawn scouts and it said 3463 and minus 920, which interestingly is... Uh, pretty much where I am. Is this spawning right underneath? Oh, it also says Scout Bay is spawning fail, which means that... Oh, can I get up here? Right. Uh, it means that your heat map is not going to spawn in anything because it's too far away. What about wandering... Let's do a spawn wandering board as well. Two hours. Let's uh, move time forward a little bit see if we can get the all right it looks like it's not finding any any spot for wandering horde either which means we are too far away say spawning one find target wait two hours i think it's uh, waiting until we can actually do that because i'm too far away so we're safe from wandering hordes as well which is of course really good uh no uh, unforeseen zombies dropping by just because they happen to be wandering because zombies actually can go on the bottom of the sea but if they can't spawn well it means well they won't exist and as you can see Day nine, it's a blood moon horde. So let's uh, let's fast forward a little bit to the nighttime and see if we get the blood moon horde. Ooh, doesn't that look beautiful in the distance? Oh, that's really nice. Just throw the it's uh, sun is going down behind the mountain there, um, and we're out here on the cold, cold. Actually, I'm not cold because I uh, picked up my torch. And let's look at the spawn here, and nothing is spawning because we're too far away. And this is exactly what we're looking for. So, in effect, we have found a spot where we will not have any scream response because of heat match. So you can do all your cooking and forges to your heart's delight. We will not even get wandering. 
yes, we will get uh, the lightning or thunder rather. And we will not get any wandering horse either because they can't spawn that far away. And what's that weird... Hot. What? I'm hot now? How can I... First I'm cold and then I'm hot and it's nighttime. Anyway, maybe Blood Moon Horde is really hot. And we also do not get the Blood Moon Horde. And if you have a look at the maps, and this is just a small area here, uh, generally around the whole big map, there is water. Now, if you go out too far here, because the edge is, I believe, yeah, it looks like it's here. If you're out too far here, you will get into the radiation zone, so don't do that. But find a spot that is reasonably reasonably close, but not too close. Um, and in a good location, I like the forest. Of course, you could down, be... Uh, up in the desert or down in the snow biome as well, depending on preference. But this would work really well. And you might wonder, how do I get in and out? And of course, there are a few ways to get into your base, uh, even when it's far out. And I've chosen one here, which is basically ma make it platform. Make sure you have a gyrocopter so you can actually land. Now, of course, this means that you have to be fairly late game because you have to have the gyrocopter and if you don't have the gyrocopter and you're not good at landing uh, which i hopefully can okay i can sort of land then uh, you are in a bit of a trouble okay so let me pick this one up and let me put it down here but this is my favorite way of doing it because it's the easiest way so i've uh, of course decked out the deck a little bit i guess that's what i call landing deck and i've started to uh, just make it a little bit more homely this is just the entrance area and i've made sure i put in some generators uh, so I have some power here coming down into the well, sort of the living quarters here. I, I want to have a dog. Wish I could have one running around, you know, my bookshelves and a little bit of play hoops. And, you know, everyone needs to exercise when you're out here by yourself. You know, there's nowhere else to be running. Play some pool. And, and of course, at the bottom here, you have the kitchen area. Of course, everyone needs a little bit of bathtub and a toilet and uh, you have your crafting and furnaces and everything and the good thing is that you can smelt down as much as you want here without the screamers actually coming because they're too far away the land is too far away i also put in a hatch down here and this is sort of the second way to get in if you don't have the gyrocopter let me see if i can get down here of course i can't come on let me down let me down let me down All right um if you are uh, better digging you could obviously just dig a tunnel all the way from mainland which is actually not too bad um i haven't done that here obviously but you know depending how far it is i'm at this would be you know a couple of hundred blocks which is not too bad if you then widen it you could uh, even drive your motorcycle through it so that you can get to it really fast and that might be might be faster to do than waiting to get the gyrocopter, but once you have the gyrocopter, I don't think you'll need to do that. Of course, you want to make sure you have a hatch so you don't have any zombies follow you down. I don't think they would, but just in case. And the really cool part about having an underwater base is that you have a really good view, actually, of the water and your surrounding areas. It actually looks almost... Uh, Pretty much as if you are sort of on a plains area with the, the grass around, you see the the trees and the mountains in the distance. Let's see if I'm over here. Yeah, you can see like all this. You couldn't necessarily tell that it's underwater until you actually go, well, into the water. It's uh, the way the, the water behaves. It's uh, You can't really see it, especially when you have this bulletproof glass, which again, just helps to provide a little bit of extra stability, but I don't think any zombies would make it here. Theoretically, they could come along the bottom of the ocean and walk all the way here if you sort of slowly lure them over but that's extremely unlikely and uh let me make sure i go down here i have made sure i have a bunch of pillars and you can make even more pillars if you wanted it i have uh, i've actually enclosed this area which is where i have my ladder in uh, glass because i want to see how that looks the problem with glass though is that glass is not waterproof it, it lets water through and that's a little bit of a pain so when you're building this so i'm actually still in water and i've actually had emptied out the water and if you're wondering how to empty out the water let's see if i do this uh, a fairly simple way of doing it is simply just to frame it up the problem with doing that is that it doesn't always work so here it looks like really nice i've emptied out the water and you might go like yeah perfect this is really good and uh, then you log in and there's water here again because uh, 
glass doesn't actually prevent it from flowing back in all the time. Once in a while, it will come back. And that's another problem when I was building this whole thing. I started by putting in more bulletproof glass, but the water just came flushing in. Um, flushing in? Well, splashing in. So I started building with concrete instead. Of course, you could do flagstone, I guess. And then I just had some strategic openings with uh, glass here because obviously you want to be able to see something. Of course, it helps a little bit with the light as well. I have put in some extra light. You can see these ones. Uh, you'll see, for instance, these ones. Very nice. You have the exit signs uh, that also are working lights and these are there you go uh, these are actually part of my expanded decorations uh, modelet uh, one of the versions that i'm going to be putting out within a week or two and here we are which actually there's nothing here as you can see i started by putting some blocks here like quarter blocks and everything the problem with that if i put any block here see if i show that if I put something like this, this is what I wanted before you see the the water starts to actually come in and if you remove it it doesn't so I decided I'll, I'll just leave it open because it still gives you a really nice view here um, you shouldn't have anything come down anywhere but at least if it makes you feel like you can have an eye out for what's around here which I guess is pretty cool as well I and mean, it looks really nice as well what you could do if you really wanted to and i probably would do that if i was expanding this i would have probably built another a uh, few poles here and just built up and have sort of an outside area as well you know an outside lounge would be nice you know where you can have the barbecue and all of that and uh, sort of watch the sunset at uh, this really nice area and it's not too far from land so you actually have quite a lot of landscaping around you as well which is nice there are no other pois around here there are Let's see, if I go up, I might be able to see some. Let's see, is there anything here? Nope, nothing within area. It's one of those things that, uh, see if I just move over here. Nope, nothing. It is too far away from the roads and then actually no other POIs are going to be spawning here. So it's a really desolate area. And if you're on, um, if you're on a server where you really want to have a bit, some peace and quiet, this really works. You know, you put down a couple of land claim blocks here. I do have one. Actually, this one is. Then that'll prevent anyone from uh, accidentally destroying it or even purposely destroying it. And, you know, you have your peace and quiet. People are not going to be randomly driving past. Probably not even going to be flying past because it's so far out from the, from the coastline that you can see that. But, you know, no one's going to be bothering you here. And the good thing is that you try to get scouts, which is from the heat map, it fails. If the game tries to spawn a wandering horde, it's also going to fail because it, there is no land within, well, within the spawn distance. And of course, the Blood Moon Horde is going to fail because it's, you know, there's no land within the 50 blocks that it wants to spawn. So you are really, really safe here. You do have to be pretty good with a gyrocopter though especially uh, landing and taking off because if you're not good uh, taking off then you're going to go uh, into the water which i've actually never done so we're going to try that here what happens okay actually nothing happens you actually i that's really interesting let's try that again uh can you actually be okay so if you are if you're wanting to have a submarine this is how you do it. Oh, this is really nice. So this is the closest to submarine you're going to get. Oh, this is really fun. Oh, look at this. Okay, so now that I'm not in the god mode, okay, it does uh, take my oxygen. But no, you can definitely fly around here. Oh, <laughs> scuba dive here. Submarine your way around. Uh, I thought that was actually pretty cool. It means that you can actually get to your... You could have an underwater garage here where you fly in underwater and then people actually wouldn't see where you were at all. You wouldn't even have to have the top blocks of the base. You simply hide it all underneath and unless they really got close, well, they wouldn't see it. Hmm, maybe that's something that I should have done. 
I didn't actually know you could happily fly here. But anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, really 100% inaccessible base, safe base, safe hold base, and just chill out area. And uh, do practice your landing. Oh, perfect. Touchdown. I'll catch you all next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.